Hello again everyone, Todd Michael Putnam from Creative Adventure Tables bringing you another Adventure Table idea and this is the Island of the Demigods. The Island of the Demigods. And the plot behind it is, uh, is pretty straightforward and simple that the, uh, the characters have to gain some information or get some kind of a magical item. Uh, and in order to do so, uh, they, have to, um, they have to go visit this island, a remote island, uh, where it is rumored that the demigods, uh, the children of the gods themselves, reign. Uh, of course, it's a reclusive island. They keep themselves separated from the mortals. Uh, and, and to keep it, to make it feel um, reclusive and exotic, uh, I've created like a high cliffs experience right next to the ocean that gives it kind of a, uh, um, a, a towering adventure type experience. Uh, as you can see, just from the, the scale of the, the WizKid ship, you can see... That's, that's what a standard miniature looks like right there. And then that's what the ship looks like. And then there's the islands, how high they are above the ship itself to give a, an experience, an experience of scale, uh, which is just to help the, help the storytelling experience uh, for the players to make them feel like they're, you know, they're in this, this great location. Uh, and then um, as far as building it is concerned, uh, it's actually a lot simpler than it seems. So I've got two two battle mats that I've got together. This battle mat I laid crossways. You can see it kind of hangs over the table a bit, and it's uh, it's simply an, an ocean beach mat. Uh, you can see the the waves and stuff here that are pre-printed that are on there, uh, and then it goes into a, a lighter blue in the ocean itself. Uh, it is laid up one way, and then next to that I have a, a battle mat from WizKids, their ocean mat. And I just basically separated it with a line of, of uh, doll stuffing filler um, and, and some Monster Fight Club rocks to have like the breaking of the ocean waves, uh, which, which matches pretty good with, with the print that's on there. So that, that gives the experience of, of you know, that they're, they're on an exotic island or approaching an exotic island. You can almost hear the ocean. And I actually have a sound machine that I, uh, the, a sleep machine that, that plays uh, ocean wave sounds. So uh, I, I can use that for adventures like this. And it just adds that extra element to make you feel like you're, you're really there. Uh, of course, there's some, some Monster Fight Club's rocks out in the water itself. Again, to give a slight feeling of danger, you know, you might have to make some skill checks on sailing and whatnot in order to make sure that the, the ship itself doesn't dash against the rocks. Um, as you approach the island. So uh, just a couple of Monster Fight Club rocks there. Uh, I've got some ocean 3D printed ocean waves from Griffin Co. I bought a lot of stuff from them. G-R-I-F-F-O-N-C-O dot com. Uh, and those are just 3D printed ocean waves that I just throw out on the on the battle mat itself. And it just gives that idea of, you know, the ocean waves are rolling in. Um, and of course, uh, you know, the, the ship is gonna be rocking and when the uh, players board their little skiff in order to uh, row out to the actual island itself, they'd probably have to make some, some checks and stuff, some strength checks uh, in order to keep themselves on course and maybe some dexterity checks or whatever so that they would actually smash up against the rocks in their little boat or they don't capsize. Uh, and then, of course, they're going to have to climb the cliffs itself. Uh, so there's going to be some strength and, and uh, dexterity checks in order to climb up these. And these, these cliffs here are actually uh, the Game of Thrones, the wall display. Uh, and they're actually glacier colored when they for obvious reasons, the big wall in the Game of Thrones, the, the, the ice wall. So they're glacier colored, but I had uh, several sets of them repainted to be a, a rocky brown you know, color. And uh, so I can use them for events like this. And as you can see, like I've got a little starting place that they can go up, but as you can see, those cliffs, they actually have uh, paces on them that are just perfect when the players, as they're making their climbing checks, oops, well, if I grab the right spot, uh, that the players, the, the, the characters can actually sit on the, on the wall itself, showing as they're making their progress up the cliffs as they're going up various sides of the cliffs. That one might be a little small for that one. There we go. Um, since they weren't actually specifically designed for 28 millimeter characters, that actually worked out pretty good as just a happy, happy accident. Uh, so you can get those uh, those cliffs from uh, Amazon.com or eBay. Um, I can't remember what they cost, but they're like 30, 40 bucks or something like that, uh, plus shipping. 
And then, of course, you'd have to repaint them for, for your purposes. These guys right here uh, across the top are dwarven forge terrain trays, small ones, because the top of the cliffs actually look like this, but they are flat. So I take dwarven forge terrain trays that are rocky colored and just throw them on top, rocky textured, throw them on top. And that does a, a good enough job of, you know, that's the top of the cliffs. Uh, and then... Uh, this top up here, let me just go behind the scenes to see what I did to produce this, the, the, the elevation, is I have my 3D printed Todd tiles that you can get free. Um, go to thangs.com, T-H-A-N-G-S.com. You can download all the various uh, sizes and files that I have uh, and shapes uh, for these and print them off. They have a rocky terrain texture to them, but you can paint them up whatever color you want. I just use brown because uh, that's usually most commonly what would happen, but I... I paint them any color and um, just stack them up to be the right height behind the uh, be behind the um, walls for the Game of Thrones walls and then underneath they're supporting 24 by 24 inch clear plexiglass that I got off Amazon two sets of 24 by 24 clear plexiglass uh, sheets uh, and you can see there you go as I pull um, and it's just sets them up on there and then on top of that I just had um, battle mats printed uh, from some place. I, oh, I can't remember the name. I apologize, but you can go to pretty much any of the the um, uh, stores, the online stores that sell battle mats, and you can usually order custom sized battle mats. So I got a bunch of 24 by 24 inch um, grassland ones printed up. So I just throw those on top, and then most of the rest of this is simply Monster Fight Club. The trees uh, and the rocks uh, are Monster Fight Club. And then, of course, uh, on the for the demigods themselves, uh, I tried to make it like a nature-type theme island in this case. So I've got some great trend minis uh, from WizKids. Uh, I, I get all of my minis from WizKids. They do a fantastic job. I've been getting them for, for some time now. Uh, and then there's like a goddess, uh, like a nature goddess that I have. She's also from WizKids, so I got her on there. And again, if you want to put, uh, this is a WizKids Mini, but if you want to put a 28 millimeter right next to it to give you the feel of the scale, um, again, that's just a standard, you know, 28 millimeter sized Mini up next to the Goddess. Uh, and then this one right here is actually from uh, an action figure from World of Warcraft, the video game, but they had an action figure series out a few years ago. So I found a bunch of them off of... Uh, uh, off eBay and uh, like again this makes uh, for a great male god of or uh, demigod of um, nature type experience so through all that together the pond also is monster fight club through all that all together and that uh, that essentially creates the experience it's not it's not terribly difficult to set up or anything like that um, and yet it uh, creates a great experience for the players to remember um, and it's, they're the kind of pictures that when they take, they can go and they can show their friends and tell the stories about, you know, how they went to this location. They had to either argue with the gods or goddesses or prove themselves or maybe solve a fight that was going on between the, the two of them uh, to, to, you know, to resolve a, a, an issue or answer a series of riddles. There's always great stuff that you can do of that nature. Um, it, it could be trial by combat because, you know, if they're nature gods and stuff, combat is just that you, you have to be worthy of survival. Um, it's not it's not anger or hatred or you know evil or anything. It's just the survival of the fittest, and so therefore, but to be worthy of the wisdom that they they are going to impart to you, you you may have to survive a trial by combat. Uh, the parties uh, to do things like that. So that's it. That's basically it. That is the uh, the Isle of the Demigods. Hope you like it. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy this, these videos, because uh, it really helps the channel grow and uh, lets me know that you guys want to watch more of them. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next adventure. Take care. Bye.